I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I'm sorry. I'm trying the best that I can. <laughs> uh-huh, honey. Uh-huh, honey. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Peyton Sky. I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger based in New York City. So obviously by the title, you guys can tell what we're going to be talking about today. So we are going to be talking about my perfume collection. So I bought a lot of perfume the other day. Well, like a few weeks ago. And I posted on Instagram and everyone was like, oh my god, like, show me, tell me what do they smell like, what are your favorites, what are you liking, what are you not liking, blah blah blah. So I decided to just put it into one video for you guys so that way you guys can see all of the perfumes that I recently purchased and, you know, maybe pick up a few if you are interested, you know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. If you are interested in seeing my beautiful perfume perfume collection then just keep on watching okay you guys so the first one that we are going to be talking about is good girl by Carolina Herrera this is such a classic perfume like I'm sure you've smelled this once or twice in your lifetime like this is an OG and can we talk about the bottle like please I want you guys to see it like are you kidding this heel it's so like feminine and just so like gorgeous i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna read you guys the notes and i'm going to butcher the notes because i am the worst at describing perfumes but and i'm gonna put them on the screen here so that way you guys can get a better like description but it's a floral scent so it has jasmine um tuberose crystal the middle is velvet almond and the base is tonka bean cocoa and coffee bean so when you smell it i don't get the tonka bean cocoa i don't get that vibe at all and i'm gonna explain it to you guys because i always feel like when i watch perfume videos and they describe the notes like perfumes really don't really be smelling like that <laughs> So I want to describe to you as best as I can what the perfume smells like to me. So I'm definitely getting floral. I don't get like the coffee bean or any type of coffee. Maybe, maybe I do. I just, I don't know. But I don't get that vibe. It's very floral. It's very like, like classy, chic. Like I don't, I'm going to, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys I'm trying to describe it but I definitely get like the velvet almond like that's like the best way I think to describe it like it's giving very almond very floral like it's just very sexy this is like perfect for date night or it could be used for every day as well I definitely recommend having this in your closet it's such a staple or your perfume collection I'm so used to saying closet it's so funny so funny story I actually have two of these I have two <laughs> because I had um, told my boyfriend how much I really wanted it and he surprised me with it when I got my new job but like I had ordered it online um, and I ordered it online a week before he surprised me with it and I just didn't tell him because I knew he would judge me if he knew I bought like 10 perfumes in one sitting <laughs> so I have two of them and I'm not upset because they are like a left and a right and I'm not upset by it but yeah they smell so freaking good all right guys so the next perfume I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the Versace Dylan turquoise so I've always loved the Versace perfumes like I think that I forgot which one it was but it comes in like um it's a pink box it's like a pink and a white gradient box. I had that all through high school. That's like That was like my high school scent. Every time I smell it, it just like brings me back to those times. But this perfume, I had went to Macy's, or I went to Bloomingdale's, and one of the ladies was working there and she sprayed me without my permission. But it smelled so good that I had to end up getting it. So, ooh, it's very much, I almost feel like the Versace perfumes smell 
the same. Like they have like the same base, in my opinion. Like they all have that same scent, but then all of they have like little different things in them that makes them different, if that makes sense. <laughs> so this one is um this one is it describes it as vibrant and luminous um it is ooh, escaping towards fairway islands where the blue sky meets crystal waters okay it is it is very like beachy it's very summery it's giving very like i'm on a tropical vacation like if i was on a vacation i would wear this every day um the notes are lemon something guava and musk and definitely it's very it's fruity but it has that versace like i can't even describe what it is that base note it smells the same in all their perfumes but this one is giving very beachy it's giving very summertime like i would wear this as like an everyday scent like every day going to work very simple casual like and the bottle's super cute it says like I don't know if you can see it, but it says Dylan Turquoise at the top, and then it says Versace going around here. Very nice. One of my faves. Okay, guys, so next perfume I'm going to talk to you guys about is this beauty right here. This is Rem by Ariana Grande. If you know me, you know I'm an Ariana Grande stan, hence the hair. Just kidding. No, I love Ariana Grande, and I really, like, will support anything that she does, and I have smelled a few of her perfumes and they're very, they are very sweet and they smell like candy and that's not my vibe. So I saw this one and this one, first of all, look at this packaging. Are you kidding? It comes in this like, like gorgeous holder and then here's the perfume. Hello packaging. We love that. This is the bottle here. It's very simple when you take it out of the packaging, but it's very, it's very sweet. It's very dreamy. I'll read you the notes now. So it is described as a dreamy fragrance by Ariana Grande. The family is floral and it, um, the scent type is musk. So the key notes are fig, salted caramel, marshmallow. The heart is pear blossom, lavender blossom. And the base is tonka bean, white musk, and sandalwood. So I'm not getting... If I were to read that, I would have been like, there's no way. Because that marshmallow scares me. Like, I don't like anything super sweet. This is giving very much white musk, sandalwood, tonka bean. Like, those are the notes that I smell in here. It is sweet, but it's like subtle. It's nothing too crazy. Mm, I'm going to spray you now. <laughs> I knew there'd be one that it just smells so good. It's it's like light. It's very. It definitely is giving like a like a sandalwood floral sandalwood type of vibe. I I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I'm sorry. I'm trying the best that I can. <laughs> but it smells so good. This perfume is very much everyday. Like. I would wear this as my everyday scent. I wouldn't really wear it for like date night or an event. It's a daytime scent for sure. If you're looking for the perfect everyday, like going to work or running errands or it's staying in the house, this is the one. Like it smells so good. Like you guys wear perfume when you're in the house, right? You have to. Like, come on. Duh. Okay guys, moving right along, my next perfume I'm going to show you guys is the Gucci Guilty. So this one is very, very popular. I'm sure that you have smelled this once in your life, but this is like classic. It smells so good. The packaging is really cute too, like it's giving luxe. Mm. It smells so like rich, like that's what I like. It smells like I'm a boss. like. I own my own business, honey. That's what it's giving. Um, so the fragrance family is Oriental. The scent type is Amber Floral. The notes are Mandora, Pink Pepper, the middle is Lilac, and the base is Pachu Pachui? Pachu? I don't don't come for me. I'm not sure. This is very much giving like I'm definitely getting the Oriental and the floral it's kind of spicy in my opinion 
it smells so luxe like this is the scent that you get like i own my own business i'm a boss ass bitch. like <laughs> it's definitely giving those vibes like this was this would be perfect for date night nighttime. like you could wear this every day too and you don't need much like you're gonna get a lot of compliments when you wear this it smells so freaking good and the bottle is just so cute it's giving luxe okay what are you wearing it's just it's gucci <laughs> Okay guys, next perfume I'm going to show you is C by Giorgio Armani. Guys, this, honey, if you're trying to snatch up a businessman, if you're trying to find a husband, this is the one, okay? This is very much giving sexy. It's very much like a nighttime scent. I'm going to wear it when I'm outside. I'm not outside looking for a man because I have a man. He loves this one, guys. This is like, she's giving very, I know I smell good, honey. Yes, yes. So C by Giorgio Armani. This is a very like classic, timeless perfume. This is like one of the OGs. Look at the bottle. Like it's just giving lux. Just, I'm just saying. So this, oh, okay. So this is um, is described as at once chic, voluptuous, intense, and soft. It lingers on the skin and enchants the senses. The distinguished and elegant fragrance allows women to express their every emotion. Okay, say less. So I'm going to put the base. Uh, the base. I'm gonna put the bases on the screen because I'm not going to say that and butcher my life but yeah this is giving very sexy it's very like spicy woody musky like it's giving like i don't know ladies for real this is the one that the men are gonna come for you and they're gonna ask you what are you wearing it's also gonna have women asking you girl what are you wearing like you smell so good like it's giving very sexy like my man loves this one it's just it smells good okay this is a good one <laughs> next perfume I'm going to tell you guys about that I just recently got is this Miss Dior honey I am not a floral person I don't really care for super florally like I do love the Gucci bloom like that's gonna be the next one that I get um because that one is actually a floral that I really like and I have another floral here so maybe <laughs> maybe I do like floral hmm, I don't know I'm fronting but this Miss Dior, she's giving very floral, very like I am trolic, I am frolicking. What is the word? I am dancing in a meadow of daisies and <laughs> no, it's not super floral. It's actually giving very classy. It almost, I would describe it as like powdery and very floral, but like sophisticated. This is the perfect everyday scent. Like I would wake up and just put this on. It smells so good and light and airy and fresh and clean. So the notes are described. It opens as like a floral bou bouquet. Um, base is Cenifolia Rose and the top is Tender Woods. So I'm getting very much like fresh air. Like, mm, it smells super good. I love this one and this one just came out guys so it is a newer scent so it wouldn't be very recognizable which is nice so she's giving she's doing and the bottle's so freaking cute like a little bow and it has the CD at top if you can see it I hope you can but yeah I love her new in my collection but she smells so good okay guys next perfume I'm gonna talk to you about is new to my collection and it's only a sample because I wanted to test this out on the skin to see how I how much I liked it and it's actually amazing. I'm definitely going to invest in the big, big bottle. But this is um, Lazy Sunday Morning by my son, Marcella. I know you guys have seen it. It has like all of the different kinds of like, it's very descriptive. Um, Lazy Sunday Morning, they have like under the lemon tree, they have um, what? They have um, something about a library. They have the um, fire. They have um, 
coffee. I, these aren't the right words, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I actually thought that when I went there, I would love like coffee and like those type of scents. But this one I actually loved. Um, Lazy Sunday morning. It's a floral family. Um, it's powdery florals. So the keynotes are Lily of the Valley. That was actually the same as the Dior. Iris and White Musk. So this one, it's giving very... Mm. Mm. It's definitely powdery. And it's it's just, it's so clean. It feel, it's clean. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but it's like, this is the perfume that I want to wear Right when I wake up, I'm gonna put it on even if I'm staying home all day. This is going to be the my, my scent Like I want like my room to smell like this. I want this to be like my scent And it's kind of crazy because it's not what I thought I would want my scent to be but it smells so good And I'm definitely gonna get the bigger bottle because I just got this the other day and I'm obsessed It's like literally halfway gone. It smells so powdery light airy fresh like and it is giving floral, but not super crazy floral. So that's what I really like about it too. But it's good and she's giving. And I'm going to get the big bottle because I'm obsessed. Okay, last perfume that is in my collection and that I love so much, I saved the best for last, is Twilly by Hermes. Guys, this perfume, it's giving... I'm rich. It's giving I have a lot of money. It's giving I have 89 businesses. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. It's very luxe. It's very like, I don't know, but the fact that it comes with this little bow, like it just is, ooh, I just love it. Like <laughs> it's Hermes, are you kidding? But um, so the fragrance family is floral. The scent type is powdery florals. I guess that's my scent. I guess that's what I like. Floral, powdery floral. I guess that's what I like. I'm learning this right now at this second. Um, the keynotes are ginger, tuberose, and sandalwood. Yeah, the sandalwood. It's it's very, it is powdery. Powdery and like sandalwood. Like that's like the vibe I'm getting. This one smells so good. This is the perfect nighttime date night. I want to find a husband. Like, I have money. Like, this is what it's giving. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. It's very luxe, expensive, but so worth it. Like, it just smells fantastic. And you only need, like, one or two spritz. I literally spray, like, ten because that's why I'm just kidding. No. You only need, like, one or two spritz. I only spray, like, my wrist, and I always spray my hair. And, like, that's pretty much it. It smells so good and it's just very luxe and it just smells like fresh. Okay, you guys, that is it for my perfume collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I described the perfumes well enough for you. <laughs> Let me know down below what you want to try or what your favorite scents are because I am like obsessed with perfumes right now Like I'm literally wanting to buy a new one every day It's just something about when you look good and you smell good. You feel good, honey, like Period so Definitely let me know what your favorite perfumes are which ones I should think about or which ones I should try Let me know because your girl's looking okay Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already Also guys don't forget to hit the notification button because I will be posting every week Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and the support and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys <laughs>